Welcome to episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. I'm MJ with your boy Latrell. Yeah, yeah. Woo, Lego. So for all you Burger King lovers out there, next time you go to BK and have it your way, you might want to be careful. Tearing into your chicken sandwich just to find out it's still raw in the middle. Charlotte Parker says she had just bought a sandwich from an Arizona Burger King. She says her granddaughter got through a few bites before realizing something was off. Yo, first of all, I love all this hardcore music like we're in a murder mystery. Okay, like, like, it's a burger. It ain't that serious. Mommy, what's wrong with this? I said, what do you mean, what's wrong with it? She said, look at it. So she t- handed it to me, and you could see that the meat was raw as it could be, pink as it could be. Charlotte wants the restaurant to take food preparation a little more serious. Why is she looking like that? Why is she looking like that? Who was idea was it to have that camera angle where she just go like she, this? She was just like, are we done yet? Can we can we get on with the show? No, she like, can you give me my check, please? Yeah, give I'll, me my check for y'all coming up in my house like that. I'm missing Golden Girls reruns. <laughs> Latrell's got some inside information. Uh, the truth of the matter is, my very first job was Burger King, and so I worked in Burger King. And for one, with Burger King, none of their patties, whether it's beef or chicken, is that thick. None of them. So I have never been to Burger King where the beef for the chicken patties are thick like that. Number two, I call bullshit on this woman. Cause one, the chicken press is too thick. The the damn chicken thing is taking up most of the damn patty. That's a thick ass chicken. I think it's fascinating that you've actually worked at Burger King. So, which is, <laughs> well, cause I didn't know that before we had this story. So what is the process from your experience working at Burger King that they cook the chicken. So what we would do, we would get them out the freezer, which is already some cooked patties, which is thinner than that, for that same sandwich you took. It's the thinner patty than that. And we just drop, drop in a fryer. Oh, so you're saying it's already cooked, it's in the freezer, you put it in the fryer and it's done. Exactly. It's like you do chicken nuggets. So the odds of this happening, you is think- zero. Okay. Is zero. We have some insider. Zero. We have some insider information from a former Burger King employee. Thank Breaking you. news right here. Subscribe, Subscribe to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan presents. presents. So there are a lot of infamous locker room celebrations out there, but this one right here might take the cake. But Tariq Cohen of the Chicago Bears took it to the next level on IG Live, and uh, he had some background actors to help out with it. Yes, yeah. sir. This is my thing, hold on, but why they always, in in these videos, they always got us looking hella ignorant, okay? Just like yelling, ah, No, 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 they ain't got us. He got, he doing that. Daniel! Hey, Paulie, join the line, Paulie! Paulie, join the line! Who is Paulie? Paulie, who is this? Is this Paulie from Goodfellas? Who is Paulie? Hey, Paulie about to join my line! Join the live, buddy. Nah, but I, uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't. He got, I, I'm, he I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. So your boy Chris Long got exposed. Okay, that a blur, right? They got the happy face in the video version. Generous blur. A gener- I, don't, I don't. I don't. It's a generous blur, in my opinion. And, and what are the odds that uh, the football player's name would be Kyle Long? <laughs> And his penis is shown. Okay, what 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 are the odds oh, of that? Man. I don't, I don't know. I just it's 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 just a, it's just a dick. I'm just saying though. But if you have minors on this IG live, oh my god, there there might be some legal ramifications. You can't you can't just be How? because you're exposing a minor. Because technically you're that means you're sending like lewd stuff to no. a minor. Technically, right? No. No, no, you are not. What he is doing is simply he's excited because they won, so he gets on IG live. He's just talking to people. Yeah, All I don't right, Bullet Troll, I have a more important question for you. Who's Paulet? Yo, like we get so many new slang words <laughs> every day. I don't know if Paulé is a person. Are we like, yo, <laughs> Paulé over here, Paulé? I don't know what he means. Like, by was that. He- Can I just say I love Celine Dion? Who, who, well, first of all, who doesn't love Celine Dion? If you don't love Celine Dion, there's something wrong with you. I do, but I can't tell you what song that she did besides... She's a Titanic, the Titanic song. Titanic song. That's it. No, she's a... Oh, oh man, she did another one, too. Uh, it's like... 
We all know Drake has some interesting choices for tattoos. This one, Celine Dion is not feeling. So apparently Drake wants to get a tattoo of Celine Dion. This is her reaction. Drake has said that he wanted to tattoo your face on his body. If you had to tattoo an artist's face on yours, who would it be? Please, Drake, I love you very much. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Don't do that. <laughs> she was, dude, she was so serious. Like, that looked like one of those PSAs when they're talking about third world countries. And they're just like, don't do that. And she literally stared down the camera, paused. The interviewer didn't say anything. He knew this was a crucial moment in the PSA. And I like her accent, though. It's so cute. I heard, that's the most her unique accent I've ever heard so in my cute. life. You can write me love letters. You can send me autographs for my kids. You can come and visit. I can have you home for lunch or dinner. Um, we can go for a drink. Um, we can sing together. Whatever you want to do. I well, like, well, like, why is she over here making this look like a hostage video? Like, like, like someone has, like someone has her like gumbo. She's like, do not do this, please. Um, I need your help right now. I was like, good. Like, is it that serious? As you go old, er, you too. When time comes, my face will go longer, and it will go not pretty er. Okay, well, what, what, Celine, what, what's going on here? What's going on with these ers? Okay, are you trying to start a rap career? Talk to me. Are you trying to stretch out? Are you trying to give us a hint? Like you about to drop this hot new mixtape? Okay. Like part of it's gonna be in French, part of it's gonna be in English, you're gonna kill the game. Is that what's going on here? I mean, that's a video meme waiting to happen. <laughs> Someone's gonna take that and, and like that's gonna be the new thing. Yeah, I bet, the Celine I bet. Dion challenge. You know what? I just love how Selena was like, hey, you can write me love letters, you, you can come over for lunch and dinner. I'm like, Celine, you trying you trying to shoot your shot at Drake? She probably is. Is, is, that, is that, I don't I don't I don't know where she I don't, I don't know where is. the status is right now, but are you trying to shoot your shot. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. So apparently this lady was trying to open this guy's phone using face ID recognition software. And uh, it's a pretty interesting battle. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it, I, I love the commenter though. He's, the, the commenter's like, like, hey man, man, I thought she was pepper spraying him, but she's trying to get his face ID. Ooh, that's a matrix, matrix, matrix. Oh, and now, now she got him the chokehold. Look at that chokehold. This gotta be New and York. Then she, and then she ran away. <laughs> this gotta be New York. That guy. This be is New York. New York. This is definitely you. This is definitely you, New York. Gotta be New York. Yeah, that first time it definitely like pepper spray. Look at this. Look, he done dropped his chicken and biscuits. <laughs> is that Popeyes? He done dropped his is that chicken Popeyes? and biscuits. Yeah. Oh, matrix again. Uh, uh, uh. Look at this! Look at this! Look at uh, this! Uh. Dude, yo, he, yo, he can limbo. He can limbo, all right. But the really big thing that stands out to me is the person who posted this. The names we come up with now for social media. I feel nobody use a regular name no more. What is that? Is that a horseshoe symbol with an apple symbol? <laughs> M A T A, apple symbol and a horseshoe symbol again. And your name is what? Ellie, Ellie the ruler. The ruler. Ellie, the ruler of what? And thanks for watching the latest episode of Pick and Pop. It's your boy MJ and Latrell. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to share, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Until next time. Woo! Yeah.